And now, coming soon to video cassette. The most intense. The most horrifying. It's in your blood. Resident Evil 3, Nemesis. The nightmare continues only from Capcom. And now, our feature presentation. Alrighty, boysies, how you do? Oh, oh, my VTuber has disappeared. Two seconds. Alrighty, boys, how are you doing? How you doing this fine, fine day? Oh, I've still disappeared. Still don't know where I'm. There I am. All right, boys, how's it going? So, right, we're coming to you live from the dusty old man home video store. And that's right, boys. For the first time, we're digging to Resident Evil 3. And Jason, I want you to calm yourself here. We're playing the Dreamcast version. Because we tried to play the GameCube version, but that had a couple of wee issues. E.g., I was streaming it. I was streaming it. I was playing it just to test. And after I went into a room... You'd get the animation where the fucking door opens and you go da 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 through. And then it would go to a black screen it just wouldn't go from there. So I they didn't even know this was on Dreamcast, me neither. So we're all we're all learning something today. I think the was it Code Veronica first came out in the Dreamcast, but anyway. We're gonna look at this lovely is that what the Dreamcast memory card looked like? The VMU I think it is. Oh there we go boys. Oh I like that I like that sound. Here we go, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. This is the first time me properly playing this game. I played it in bits here and there when I was like when I was younger. And then when I first got into emulation, obviously I really, was, like, I really wanted to play through all the Resident Evil games. And I played like maybe half an hour of it. So it'll be interesting to dig into it. We're gonna go in easy mode because your old da has had a hard go of it with the Castlevania and wants to relax a little bit. There we go, right, we make he's got, wait, what, excuse me, I forgot there's a costume select. So straight away this game's just giving me all the costumes that you have to unlock in Resident Evil 3, or in, the, in other versions. So we have, let's just have a look at what we've got. We're gonna go with the with normal costume, so we've got normal Jill, which is like the tube top with the mini skirt. We've got, I know, like, battle suit Jill, like, jump, like, leather one. We've got original Jill, which I kind of like, I, I like, I love the shoulder pads, I don't know. The Saturday Night Fever fucking Yakuza skin. We've got, I think that's maybe like con just a concept art, maybe like a slight difference. A wee blue shirt. Regina from Dino Crisis, that's kind of cool. And a, a Polo's outfit. Six one's Catty Jill. Oh, the Regina one. It does look a bit like, yeah, Goth Jill. Then Regina just, yeah. And there's your boy Kiryu. Kiryu? Is that how you say his name? The less interesting playable character in Yakuza 0. But right, we're just going to go with the original. I know boring, but it might take me out of it. Again, oh! As an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. What's the power here? No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. <laughs> Sorry, just the model in front of. of their actions. But there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. Aren't you like a mad true that once the uh, doing the Charlie thing with the which got the conspiracy board? You know. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance, my last escape. Fine enough, that's the Japanese uh which got title of this game, Last Escape. This is Chopper Delta, preparing to drop off at area E95070. So basically during the outbreak, Umbrella's trying to assassinate all and cover up all the stuff that happened and like to, even with the Arkley Mansion stuff, so Yeah. They're trying to get out they try to silence all the stars, even though it's been months since the Arkley incident and you think they would have killed us like straight away. And surely 
sending in like giant monsters is a bit harder than you know just sending maybe an assassin to take care of us or you know but yeah raccoon cities went to shit like we seen in resident evil 2 because this is say i believe roughly about the same time if not like maybe a bit just before because we do go to the rpd i think Spent millions on these BOWs, might as well use them. I'm, so I've not, I've not seen. I actually skipped this every time I see it. Well, every time I play this, but it just reminds me of. I know it's obviously where they got the idea for the scenes. For me, Resident Evil Apocalypse, where there's just these dark and shite scenes. But the FMV is taking quite a jump between this or two and this. Like, these actually look really cool. But fun enough, Resident Evil 3 wasn't meant to be canonically Resident Evil 3. It was going to be just a farewell to my life, farewell to my home. This is my last chance for survival. This is my last escape. Didn't you just already say that? Holy shit. Wait, what happened in Jill's apartment? Big fucking explosion. And I've got machine gun. What the fuck? Uh, right. Controls are slightly different on the the Dreamcast. I don't. Wait, is it giving me a machine gun because I started on easy mode? And this is certainly a fucking action packed start. Holy shit! There's already a lot more zombies on screen than what we had with Resident Evil uh, Two. I think this one is meant to be more like action based than Resident Evil uh, 2. I've heard this is where the sort of linear of nature can set in. Daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow. Oh, drop some. I'm still alive. But there she is. Anyway, Resident Evil 3 was originally meant to be Code Veronica, but. Because they had an exclusivity deal with the Dreamcast, they had to change it to like a spin-off kind of. I just lost my daughter. So they named the spin-off that was coming out on the PS1. They called that Resident Evil 3. I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't gonna be. Because I think it was a deal they had with Sony that every mainline one had to be on the uh, PlayStation. I'd rather starve to death than here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Even though, am I, am I making it up that Resident Evil originally came out in the Saturn or some shit like that? Am I making it up? The rest of lad's hiding in... Hiding in... Is that a truck he's hiding in? I mean, it's not a bad idea. Considering not everyone's a fucking action hero. I think you're making that up. The, was it the PlayStation that came out on? No, I, I am. I'm getting confused with Tomb Raider. It was Tomb Raider that originally came out in the Saturn, I think. Or some, something like that. Right, what's this? Game... Game instruction A. Game instructions expose various actions, operations on the map screen, event screen. And we're fine, we don't need to know this. What else have we got? The creation of bullets, explain how to use gunpowder and the real. I don't need to know, I'm fine, I'll learn on the way. Wait, how do I use the reloading tool? Check. A tool used to load mixed material into an empty bullet. Choose to combine with the gunpowder. Oh, this sounds kind of cool. First aid box. Holy shit. Right, anyway, so we're in a warehouse, there's a big fucking... It was Tomb Raider, you're thinking of... I, I get confused with like, those sort of... They both have shite tank controls. And I was terrified of both of them as a kid. Mainly Tomb Raider 3, because there was this one trap where you... Right at the start, so you go down this big hill and there's a couple of things you run into. And then you go in this... Uh, you go in this wee bit and there's like a spike wall that moves in and I could never figure out to get it. Literally, you walk forward and there's a wee sort of hatch you can crawl through. But as a kid I could never figure it out and it scared me too much to play it. Right, what's in here? What have we got? Oh, I see a shiny. We take the warehouse key. So, I've only ever played the re- well, I've only I've played the remake of 3 quite a lot and I- I just can't like the remake of 3, so it'll be interesting to play this and then... Because I find it real... Excuse me? 
Fucking hell. Right, boys, uh, let's make a little rule here. Easy mode. We're, we're not going to use these as much. Should have picked... There was no... thing is, there was no normal. It was just hard or easy. Like, there was no in between. So I will do a wee save here just to... Nope, wrong button. An old typewriter. You can save your progress here. Will you use ink ribbon? Yes, I will. But one thing I'm thankful for is a fucking infinite... Which got... Is infinite uh, ink ribbons because I've always hated limited saving. Right, uh, equip. There we go. A delivery voucher book. I guess there's nothing else to pick up here. Right, if I've got a warehouse key, where's the warehouse? Is there a door here? There's a map there. Can I get the map? A map for the delivery service area. Aww, can't pick it up. Cool. So we're just going to slowly make our way through Raccoon City. I wonder when your boy appears in it. It's not a spoiler to say your boy Nemesis, considering the whole game is literally built around them. Because usually I don't like to say, like, oh look, this character appeared and the alarm's already been used. But when the game title is literally Resident Evil Nemesis, you know, defective products have been placed here. Nothing useful. I really, at the start of 3, it's really, like, it's very linear and obviously very, uh, what's it, like, can I open up? Told you. I'm not leaving. Never. Cool, right, neighbor. But I really, at the start of uh, Remake of 3, it's very, like, cinematic, you know? What's through here? Is this the... You've used the warehouse key. You don't really need this key. Will you discard it? Yes. See, when I first played through... Because uh, the first classic Resident Evil game I played... The, well, it's not as a lie. I played Code Veronica quite a bit. But I remember when I played the DS version, I got scared in case the game was lying to me. So I just kept all the keys and my inventory was a fucking state of just all these keys that I refused to get rid of. Right, I'm all on edge now because I know he appears a lot more than he did in the remake. Let's do here. Try to do a wee bit of that exploring. So seeing Canon, did Chris just fuck off to like Eastern Europe he said because he was going to Umbrella HQ? And it's weird Rebecca hasn't been heard from in Canon since Oh! Fucking shot myself. Like since Resident Evil Zero, Rebecca's not popped up. Oh, Herbie's! I'll pick up some Herbie's. Big E concert, September thirtieth. Starts at seven thirty p.m. No, Jill. I probably should pay attention now to do like dramatic escapes, whatever it's called. Holy shit! This cunt is no dying. I'm not gonna mess with the rest of them. I've already used up 10 shots of my very limited ammo. Yeah, Rebecca's not been heard from since, like, because she's in, like, the mo like the CGI movies and she pops up. I mean, spoilers, but I guess she goes to Europe and gets called back called Veronica. Aye, but it's weird that Rebecca, uh, Rebecca uh, Jill decided to just stick around in the city that she knows is controlled by the company that, you know, is actively trying to silence her or trying to shut her down. Well, not shut her, but you know what I mean, like, trying to kill her. Barjack. It's locked from our side. Cool. We pan a window in. That's meant... Wait, when did this come out compared... Was it a year between this and Resident Evil 2? Because... I know it's a Dreamcast, so it's running a bit better. I played the I played the GameCube version of t uh, two, but it's quite a fucking jump between shit. Ah, oh, you're fine. You're fine. Door to the boutique is locked. 
a year between them. Yeah, it's a. Must have worked on a lot. Well, again, they also worked on uh, Dino Crisis that time because I think Dino Crisis, I might be talking shite, was out of a tech demo for this game. A door has been sealed because they wanted to work on AI that actually chased you down and shit like that, as opposed to AI that felt like, you know, just zombies. Right, uh, let's go this way. I've not really got anything to deal with those guys. Can I go in the windy? Nope. I feel like I already had that Mr. X. I don't know, probably, maybe. Surely there's something up here. There's no way they'd have just an area here that's just... Unless I need to use something to open this up. Wait a second, do I see... Ah, there's two herbs. Oh yes, I thought I'd seen some there. Oh wait, she's got a quick turn. Oh my god, that is so much, so fucking useful. The quick turn is definitely from Dino Crisis. There we go. Time to get mixing. Nope. Uh, a rare herb that you can restore your vitality. Several herbs can be mixed to enhance their effect. Right, so we're just gonna take we're just gonna take the hits because I've not got any ammo to fight back with. Oh, I've made this so much worse by waiting. Fuck it. Wait, what did I pick up there? You've taken the uptown map. Fuck. My right, God, oh no. I was gonna say I'm about to be an uptown girl, but I'm too scared now. Actually, fucking ah, right. I had a as soon as I said that, I've had a flash of like memory there. Where I remember in P4, I, uh, my school asked for the fucking, they, they had a talent show every year. And for some reason, I was all confident, I'll do it. And for some reason, I said I'd sang Uptown Girl, because I thought it was, uh, was it Steps that done the cover of it? And I remember, I tried out for the talent show. I went up and I literally just remembered the court, Westlife. I, was, I just remembered the chorus. And that's all I sang. So it was just me in a fucking quiet gymnasium. One teacher, and me going, oh, <laughs> And then just crying, and I forgot the words. Yeah. But I was a Wayne. Literally, I checked, you know, before, how, how old are you? I was nine years old. No. Ah, Jesus. Uh. Oh, this is not good. Wow, it's one easy mode, and we're getting done in. Oh look, someone's been playing hop hopscotch or something out there. Jill can't run when she's injured. You fucking decide to- I did decide to not take ammo. This area's pretty big. I mean, I could- I've got a- I imagine I've got to chase that guy down. I mean, I could literally be swimming with magnum shots now. Wrong button. You've opened a lock. I could be Big Johnny Magnum right now, but no, I fucked it. I wonder if that's a speedrun ta uh, tactic, is just do easy mode and just run through it with all the big massive weapons. Nothing unusual. What's this? Um. Feels like there's a lot more open areas to this. Oh! Can we save her? Remember I said about this being a bit more, this one meant to be a bit more linear? Yeah, don't think it is because I've taken so many different ways. What's down here? Did she go this way? Oh, you big prick. Right, okay, maybe we need to get ammo. Maybe ammo's a necessity in this situation. The remake was so near, but the start, uh, the start of this, realizing I got the lighter oil. I can see this being a f So basically, this is going to be a very open area. I get the item, need to use it somewhere. Can I go down here? I can't. Oh, 
Oh god, right. I may have fucked this quite badly. Hopefully we can get to a fucking a wee safe bit so I can actually grab ammo and rethink my strategy. Well, let's head back to where the guy with the gun was because I assume I have to go where he is. I'll take another, another delicious, delicious herb. Let's run through here. And was it this way? Don't think it was this way. This is my problem with survival horror games. I just get lost very easily. It was not that way. Cool, we'll head up this way then. Oh, you prick. It was all me. I thought I could escape that. Oh, it was down here, wasn't it? And there was a but Oh, yeah, because I commented on the hopscotch bit. I'm not doing very good avoiding these guys, am I? Oh, a door. Are we inside? Are we nice and safe? Oh, we're yeah. meeting someone. Who are we meeting? Who's this? Oh, no! Get away. Poor Brad! Um, <laughs> Get him, Brad! Get him! Oh, Bradley. Come on, pal. Big chicken heart Brad Vickers, everyone's favourite. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen. For context, Brad is Brad was the helicopter pilot in the first one. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after stars members. There's no escape. Right, here we go. Let's do some looting because we got some stuff lying about. Jill, just reach over the chairs. Jill, it's right there. Reach over the chairs. Fuck's sake, Jill. She's got like really short arms. She's got wee TVX arms. Uh, clock tower postcard. A picture of a postcard of a clock tower. Clock towers always go well for me. The following explanation is printed on the backside. A landmark spot. St. Michael clock tower. You've taken the clock to our postcard. Last thing I need in this game is wee Jimmy Scissors come back. Oh, handgun bullets. I'll happily take them. Wait, I'm sorry. 60? 60 handgun bullets? Fucking hell, this game's... This game's being nice to me, holy shit. Easy mode right enough. And I'll still struggle at it. Bottles of bourbon line the shelf. If only Code Veronica gives you this amount of ammo, it'd be class. Payphone. We take a lighter. Oh, oh! No. I keep pressing the map button instead of combine with a lighter fluid, and we now have a lighter. Yes, man. There we go. Puzzle Master Mikey. You put the lighter fluid in the lighter. Who, who could figure that out? Oh wait, wait till I'm a bit more fucked. Oh, right. Damn it, I was trying to... Wait, I won't protect... I'm not gonna lie to you boys, I actually forgot what button the... Oh, for... I actually forgot what button the uh, ready weapon was. Right. So I've got a map. That bit's locked. Oh my god, this area is massive. Holy shit. Right, so... If I head... Straight ahead. And then left. Oh. I see. Maybe not.
down to so many zombies, I don't know if it's worth. Oh my god. Okay, I guess I'm going this way then. They've certainly upped the number of them, holy shit. Right, and that side street can take me back out. So if I go this way and the Fucking hell. Certainly need all these fucking bullets they're giving me. Right, knock them down. Just knock them down. Don't don't bother about killing them. There we go. I mean, it does feel more tense than Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 was always very sort of claustrophobic and stuff like that. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 2. Well, this one definitely feels a bit more... Like, bigger scale, if you know what I mean. And the zombies are so much faster, holy shit. Right, and then take this turn. That's where I've seen Brad was in there. Can't tell if there's, another, there's not as another zombie there. Let's try this way. Boys, I'm shaking myself. I'm very on edge. Right, and just wait for him to kind of run by him. Thing is, I'm getting a shit ton of ammo, but I'm sure if I, I'd use it up on all of these boys if I just tried to kill all of them. Fuck. Right. I was gonna just knock him down, but right, and I can dodge this one zombie, so we good. What's this area? What's this? What's this wee place? Door to the booty. Oh, wait, we've been here before. Right. Well, that's the way I came. Oh, you bastard, I went in a circle. Right. Oh, fuck, I'm so lost, boys. What direction did I go in? Because it's not got uh, bits that are blocked off on my map. Right, so I see a safe room here. Our main goal should just be trying to get there. But if I take So if I take this So little goals today boys by making it to the safe room, so if we come out this way and then turn to the left it'll be Which is Oh Jesus Exactly the way I came I think. I've definitely been here. I can't believe I'm, I've been playing the game for about 20 minutes roughly and I'm already hopelessly lost. Wait, I hear clanging and banging. Wait, this, this bit looks newish. Oh, fuck this noise. I've been bound tight with a rope and won't open. The rope seems to be soaked with oil. Well, no. Oh, here we go, boys. Use. Well, it's nice that we've got the time to do this when there's zombies everywhere. Holy shit. There's a barrel next to you, lad. There's a barrel. Oh, I could shoot that and blow it up. I see. Wait, wait a second. I hear barking. No, man. I hate the Cerberus dogs. I hate them. They're a pain in the dick in every Resident Evil game. Because you know what I love in games? I love character oh, enemies that are wee and hard to shoot <laughs> oh now we get a safe room here right time to arm to the fuck armor to the fucking teeth hey robert luther how you doing pal they aren't cerberus i thought cerberus were the were infected dogs oh cerberus are the bow's in one aren't they these are just dogs that happen to get bitten or infected 
You can see for progress here. Will you use the ink weapon? Yes, I will. So you know what the best infected dogs are? See the ones in Mizzy 05 that do the mad the thing, like funny enough, like the thing, you know, with their heads that split open. That bit's kinda cool. Right. I should be okay with a I've only got 15 shots in my handgun, but There we go. We'll be doing this to be safe. Oh! They're still out there, but it's okay, we're just gonna run through here. Luckily the enemies respect, you know, boundaries and will not attack through doors and shit like that. But okay, this bit's new. Let's go down here first. Okay, nothing down here apart from a lot of fire. Can I squeeze through here? What's this wee door? It's locked with a simple lock. Well, good thing I'm the master of lockpicking. You know in the S.D. Perry novel, I've only read the first one, which is called The Umbrella Conspiracy, well, it's, yeah, it's based off the first game. They give Jill this big backstory about how her dad was this master thief who got caught, and then uh, he had her, he trained her and stuff, and then when he got caught, she decided to join the police, because she realised, like, oh, I, you know, my dad's not a good guy, I should try and, you know, help. And I was like, because this, this came out a year after Resident Evil 1, so they had to really stretch the backstory to try and make some of the things make sense. They even tried to explain the wonky voice acting by saying that uh, Barry and Wesker seemed almost robotic in their delivery because they feel a bit like they're hiding something. There he is! Big Bradley himself. Oh, who's this guy? Who's this? Fucking stud. I feel this scene is a lot more intimidating than when you see him in the first, like, and I, I know, like, I like when, I like the start of 3 a bit better, or sorry, 3 remake a bit better, but I think this scene is really fucking intimidating. Oh dear Jesus. Bite the monster at the police station. Boys, we are entering the police station, we're no fucking with this. That's a big bio weapon indeed. It's a big boy. So boys, I can't actually remember the... What do you get if you beat... You can kill Nemesis, can't you, there? But I can't remember what you get if you beat him. Oh, fuck. You're coming. Oh, it's good to be back here. Is this pre... You get up gun upgrades and ammo, I think? Aye. This is just pre-2, yeah. Terminal controls... This, this terminal control is secret. I could operate if I have a stars card. We to get a stars card, boys. Well, good thing I'm one of the stars. An old typewriter. I could save my progress if I had that ink ribbon. Guess what I don't have? The police station map. There we go. If taking the police station map. It was kind of cool coming back here in 3 Remake as well. Because Megan's only. Meg, well, Megan first played Revelations 2, then she played 7. Have to make our way up to our old office. I wonder if I said, "Oh, there's a whole section." I think it's Biohazard One. No, Biohazard. Sorry, Outbreak One. I think it is, and that's got the whole. It's a fall of the RPD. I think it is. Probably not. She left it in our bit. A wee berry. Oh God. But yeah, you see like them uh, barricading and shit, so there must have been like six or seven different sets of survivors come through because there's... The Outbreak guys were here first, then Jill was here, then... Oh, there's... is that Marvin? It's RPD officer Marvin Branagh. He's been fatally wounded by zombies. He appears to be holding something in his hand. Marvin's report. The reports of a theft in the municipal I can't say that word. Municipal building before dawn. A jewel decorated clock at the main gate was damaged. Two of the twelve gems that were installed in the fence of the, the face of the clock are missing. Due to the lack of available officers at this time, I've had no choice but to suspend research of this case. Signed, Marvin Branagh. 
Based upon an autopsy report of a 42 year old restaurant owner, I've discovered that he has one of the missing gems. Apparently, he uh, he apparently took shelter in the police department about 10 a.m., where he was shot to death within 10 minutes of uh, having developed the symptoms. Since the city is currently under martial law, we are forced to suspend this case. At this time, we'll keep the gem as evidence. Signed, Big Marvin. Right, so we need to get gems. That's the. I imagine that's the thing here. You got anything on your desk, Marvin? It's a photo frame. Possibly a family photo. Right, so the main goal is get a stars card, then find the gems for whatever that thing is. Oh, look, it's Leon's first day. Oh, shame he didn't get his party. Oh, I fucking shat myself there, boys. I wonder how long like, this is set over, like, because they clearly had a, part, a first day party set up. But how long is the martial law? Like, how long is that in for? Because I assumed it was like an outbreak. Like, I just assumed that it was. Like, you know, it happened. Like. Actually, what's this? Ooh, a wee gem. I just assumed that it happened, like, straight away. Like, oh, zombies attacked. Instead of it being, like, maybe over time or whatever. Have you uh, visited Chief's office yet? Not yet. The number base lock, first digit number, uh. One. Five. Two. One. Nah, that's not it. I was just uh, pulling numbers at Mars there, hoping that I'd get it first time. I'm just making my, slowly making my way around the uh, place I'll get. I'll head to the star's office first, if I can remember where it is. And the zombies are a lot more detailed in this from what they were in, like, 2. Because 2 they had, like, 4 models, I think, for zombies. They had the Polis, they had the Cindy-looking one, like, the you know, the woman that's in every single Resident Evil game set in Raccoon City. Like, she's got the short shorts and the Converse. Oh, you prick. And there they be naked boys as well. What's in here? And you want know to find mental, so within like, like nowadays, obviously game development is a lot, takes a lot longer. But within, as far as Resident Evil goes, so basically, 96 is when Resident Evil 1 came out. By 99, there was three games out and quite a few different spin-offs. It's, it's mental. It's the same as like Final Fantasy when you think about that. How like 7, 8, and 9 came out like very close to each other. And now if we're lucky, we'll get a Final Fantasy every decade, you know? Or near enough, because I think was Final Fantasy 15 not about 2015 or 2016 maybe? It was something like that. It was very far, far back. Oh! I even see you. <laughs> Your boy's still holding out hope for Revelations 3. Oh, and our save bit. And I don't want to say about it, that's probably how they got these out so quickly because they could just reuse quite a lot of assets. Nothing suspicious. Here, use it in here. We take gunpowder A. No typewriter could save my progress if I had an ink ribbon. Will we save it? Yeah, fuck it, we'll save it. We're not in any worse of a position as we were in when last time we saved, so. Now here we go boys, here we go. Oh, I like that sound. Very ASMR. He's my best friend, he's my pal. He's my homeboy, my rotten soldier. He's my sweet cheese, my good time boy. Thanks for the subscription, Megan. Thank you. Just pop that back. I'll put the gunpowder back in because I don't really know how to use that yet. 
if it's anything like uh, maybe remake, it's just mix it and you get different ammo. Thirty one months. Fuck, I've been a have I been an affiliate for thirty one months? Holy shit! Boys, I'm getting old. Stars office up here, isn't it? Yeah, because you come through here as that we the pushy puzzle thing, and then that's it. Excuse me, pal. The doorknob turns, but the door won't budge. It seems to be nailed from our side. Is this door locked yet, or? So someone must have went and set up the fucking lock beforehand. Cool. It's locked. You'll need the stars key to unlock it. Oh, for... Well, where would I get a stars key? Who would have a stars key? A solid back has been set up here. I need to go all the way back. Hutch probably has it. Who the fuck's Hutch? Everyone's favourite Resident Evil character, Hutch. Stars key and Hutch. Oh. Oh. I never clicked. Fucking Jason. <laughs> oh shit. Did you ever notice there's no lavies in uh, the RPD in these? I think that's one thing I remember in uh, Remake someone pointing out going, yeah, there's no toilets, what the fuck? And then they add in the toilets to Remake and there's a really good scare in there with a fucking mannequin where... You know what survival game does have lavies? I'll bleed. And if you don't look, if you don't like mark the lavy specifically, it fucking bubbles up and shite jumps out of you. Boys, play I'll bleed. Funny enough, on the Dreamcast as well. Just think, imagine you were a massive survival horror fan and you chose the Dreamcast over, say... Like, say you could get a PS2, which had like, I'm trying to think, maybe it launched roughly, so PS2 would have had like, say, Fatal Frame would have came out early in its uh, life cycle, uh, I think Cove Rock X got a pretty early port, you know, Silent Hill 2 was on it, and you chose the Dreamcast instead, you're like, oh boys, here we go, what have we got for horror, we've got Resident Evil 3, pretty good, we've got Resident Evil Code Veronica, pretty good, we've got Elbleed. Alright, it's a strange one, but pretty good. And we've got the Ring Terror's Realm. And we just leave it there because the Ring Terror's Realm is, well, the Ring Terror's Realm. It's completely blocked off. Extermination on PS2. I'll get that added to the list. I always remember seeing the game in, uh, in like game station and game in the pre-owned section. Always looked at it, never never picked it up. I remember that in a game called RLH, like it was called Run Like Hell. All of them but that uh, just sitting there. By the back of the day, I remember it being alright, but bet it's shite. So you gave it to me to try out. Neighbor. I'm trying to build up more because Cause I realised I was sitting there going Right, what survival horror games have I got to play for, say, next year's horror thon? Because the uh, thing is, I like survival horror games. Are, like, probably one of my favourite genres alongside, you know, uh, 3D platformers and uh, GRPGs. But there's a finite amount of good ones. And it's going to end up a, m a month. Like, say I still stream in, like, three or four years, where I've done Silent Hills, I've done all the Resident Evils, and I'm like, right, boys, uh... We're digging into the thing on PS2, <laughs> or we're digging into, you know, we're blue. St is blue stinger on the list? Blue stinger is not on the list. I'm terrified, boys, because I've got a redeem which is refund all manlin points. I don't know. Jonathan's the only person that knows how to do it. So, but what's going to happen at Mugen? I can tell people are going to do big bets, and someone's got. No, you know how to do it. Oh dear. I could do it right now. No, Jason, please no. But what's going to happen, money on it, is someone's going to go all in with their bets, going to win big, and then they're going to refund everyone's points, and it's just going to be a wall of games getting added to the list. And I'm going to have a big cry. 
But this is where I came last time and it was a dead end. Oh! How'd I get to that door? Right. Through here? But boys, I've got a bunch of ideas for the the Mugen uh, Fight Night stream, which is gonna be Man on 100. We're gonna do it early November, or maybe even late October. We're probably got we might do it next week because I'm actually off all next week, so I'll have to sit, sit and figure out when's a good sort of time because I want to get obviously I don't I want to get a, quite a lot of people in because I'm all excited for this and Mugen tends to do pretty well stream stream wise. Right, anyhow, there we go. Whew! Got scared there, there was a lot of boys. Need to nail down a date and then advertise it, I do. But, the thing is, because I've started these two games, I've started, uh, well, I've not started Manhunt yet, but I will try and get Horth on it the way. Because even, I said, even though if I finish, say, say I finish Resident Evil 3, I'm not going to finish it today. We'll say it was an accident here. Uh, or if I, say, finish Manhunt within like three streams or whatever, I don't know how long it is. No, I meant, I meant to use that. Because the Dreamcast, uh, it's 20 levels, so a wee bit longer. But you know what I mean, like, I'm, so... But say I beat it before end of October, I'm still going to... Oh, the Stars card! Good thing they left my fucking membership just lying out there. Check. An ID card for Stars with Jill's picture on it. But I'm still going to... We're still going to pretend that it's 100 games, you know, we're still going to do the 100 game celebration afterwards. Because I like the horth, I like the sort of Horthon thing being that month, you know. There's nothing you can do with the fireplace. You cannot light it on fire, is that not what... I guess if I set it on fire, then what would Leon and uh, Jill do? No, Jill. Leon and Claire. So man, that's probably going to take me a wee while. Especially because I am not good at stealth. And I know I'm stretching the horror game thing with Manhunt, but i fucking done Scooby-Doo beforehand, so let's be honest. We're, we're stretching pretty hard. And also I thought... I, I wanted... Because the title of the horror one's Video Nasty. And I wanted something that did feel proper, gr like, grimy, if you know what I mean. And no, not like Simpsons. But something that felt proper fucking, you know... Like an actual Video Nasty, and... The game is probably closest to that is like a manhunt or a manhunt's uh is a belter for it considering it's a snuff em. Aye. It, 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 see if manhunt was a movie. It's like the one you'd go into like it would be in like the back of HMV. Arrow video would have released it and got like the atmosphere and overall themes for it's so good. I'm excited for it. I've always had an interest in the series. Obviously, it had a lot of uh, free advertising because it was banned in the UK and stuff like that. And I remember, like, every cunt bought it because they thought, oh, this is going to be worth something. But not 2 is not as good. I'll, I think I, I, I like to say I'll play full series, but sometimes I just don't. So we'll see. If I really enjoy Manhunt 1, I might dig into Manhunt 2. Down the line, you know. Okay, so I've got the stars, I'll drop this shotgun shells off. Uh, I'll drop the blue gem off. But I mean, didn't Manhunt 2 get quite badly censored here? No, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to... There we go. Like, you would go and do, like, a... Uh, murder scene and it went it got all static which I don't I don't mind so see if you cover up because I always imagine what you don't see is worse than what you do see no if you get what I mean so like see if I'm if you see my, my guy with a knife going to stab someone that goes all Ksh, like that you basically need to pirate the people I'd, see unless it's like because I think censorship can be kind of cool but it's obnoxious ah I see like I remember I was playing the the European version of Stick of Truth, the South Park game, 
and that's got censorship and I thought the censorship was fucking hilarious because it is overtly obnoxious but what it does is it really loudly explains what's happening and you hear you hear like like for example there's a scene that's a that someone's getting anal probed by a, a alien get the stars key guess what guess what I've got no I've got a stars card so I need to head back to the main bit and unlock it cool and I thought that was hilarious the way it was just heavily censorship you know because what you imagine is always worse. No. Shit. Oh boys, we doing bad. We doing real bad. So we'll just head back to the main lobby. I remember there was a Punisher game that got quite heavily censored as well. But what I've done for the censorship is like, so you'd have scenes where you interrogate people, like, you know, did you ever play that Splinter Cell game, I think it was Conviction? The one that was actually really good. But uh, you could sort of interrogate people on that and then it would always end with like an execution. To where I can't even remember it being censored and I think what they've done is I think they zoomed it, they just zoomed the camera in. Or maybe it was like a different version of it was censored. I remember the Punisher game, because I've never actually played it myself, I just remember hearing that it was censored and seeing some of the censorship. The game was alright, but I bet it was actually terrible. It's probably just like a, a very run of the mill shooter, you know? With just the Punisher slapped on it. Which then again, if it's a licensed game, just copy. Copy it. Just look at what, like, Max Payne was out. Just copy Max Payne. Will you use the Stars card? Yes, I will. No, it's the Stars personnel. Due to the emergency, the key to the store's office has been moved to the evidence room. Today's password for the safe is 0131. They add that kind of thing into Manhunt 2, by the way, the environmental killing. That, that sounds kind of cool. I remember, not, it's not exactly, it's not as violent, but I remember Sleeping Dogs had something kind of similar where it's like, you could do, like, environmental moves and they were really fucking, oh god, I want to play Sleeping Dogs now, such a good game. But the second I go in the car, you get a DMC aid because I think it fucking like I think it's a trio in the game or whatever. I funny enough, I just started this out on the Steam Deck this morning. It's very very good. Wait, what was the code? It was it has two Opeth. Not ah, it's not a trio. It's Opeth. O one four. Oh, it's the Edinburgh one. No, it's Glasgow. Gonna make it. I got very confused, boys. I got very confused. Oh, what's that? Sweet tiny key. We take the emblem key. I will indeed. This fucking police station loves its keys, doesn't it? Loves its mad themed keys. Star's emblem is engraved on it. Right, here we go, boys. Here we go. Heading up to the star's office. And boys, I'm just wondering, see if to get two Resident Evil games, I know Code Vodka came out quite soon after this, but how long was the Dreamcast life cycle? Was it like two years or something? Actually, I'm taking back, there's, an other, there's two Dreamcast other horror games that I've uh, really like it has the best horror game of all time for me personally typing of the dead because spelling and letters flying at you is horrifying came out in 1999 and uh, away in 2001 why did I put that in there why did I do that I'll keep the stars card for it no no Mikey keep that uh, the lighter I might have put in What was it that killed the Dreamcast? Was it the easy piracy or or was it just like very unlucky that the PS2 came out around the same time? The piracy didn't help I because I remember like I think everyone had a chip PS2 when they were a kid. Everyone or a chip PS1 sorry but PS2 would be much better putting the nail in the coffin, aye. I think the DVD sales, really, well, 
the PS2 also having a DVD player really helped it. Because I remember seeing fan members who just had a PS2, but they wouldn't, they didn't have games for it. They just had a PS2 as a DVD player because it was about just as expensive as DVD players were. So they could, you know, double up and say, "Oh look, bought the way in a PlayStation and a, a DVD player." Fuck! I should really try avoiding these enemies, shouldn't I? But what, what was that other one that was, so I was typing the dead which was horrifying because, you know, the numbers and letters flying at you. Then there was this, there was this other one, was it called, it was zombie something, zombie revenge? It was like a beat em up. I was meant with Cooley, uh, done the same thing for PS3, but I think Blu-ray has never been as big. Yeah, Blu-ray seems more like a, a collector's thing or like a film buffs thing. You know, like now we see people going, oh, 4K restoration of this movie. And that's clearly for collectors or people or people that are big into film. But I think as far as the casual audience, even buying DVDs is a bit out now. It's mostly streaming, but yeah, people seem to have got DVDs and just stuck with DVDs, you know. Use the stars key, you're not gonna need this key. Will you discard it? Yes I will. I wonder, does this have a thing where Where's Wesker's desk? Let's search it 50 times, see if the scuddy photo appears again. The desk of Wesker, Captain of the Stars. Do you not have anything to say about Wesker, you know, turning on you and actually being... Well, he, wasn't, he wasn't working for Umbrella, he was trying to double cross Umbrella, wasn't he? Right, we're just going to try this, see if it works. Because if you search it 50 times in Resident Evil 2, you get a scuddy photo of Rebecca. Which is a bit grotty considering... Rebecca's like the young stars operative that's just started and Wesker's the captain is clearly being a bit of a fucking perv, you know? Imagine while I'm doing this, RE3 Wesker's desk. I'm just going to see if that... I think it's just in two. So someone put up on Game Facts, right? This was about 15 years ago. A friend told me if you push it a hundred times, if you push a hundred times on Wesker's desk, uh, a photo of Rebecca will show up. Yeah, it's only in Resident Evil 2. Never mind, we fucked it. I miss back in the day when, like, I don't wrong, like, that was 2008. But people hadn't figured it, like, I don't want to say figured it, but... Chris Redfield won the Marchman contest, yay! But, you know what I mean, like, people were just, it was more urban legend and shit like that. So you go into like game facts and people are like, oh I'm not sure. This is Chris's one where Chris no it's Barry, sorry. Barry loves his guns and loves his fishing and loves America. Who's this? This is Chris's with uh It's the desk of uh Chris, a stars team member. It's this organization probably reflects the owner's personality. Oh look, he's made a wee mixtape, he's made a wee C D for us. And what's this? Will you take a lot pick? Yes I will. Chris Redfield's under the truck at the SSN. Pokemon was really, like, really big for those I remember. Like, I remember hearing so many ways how to get a set, is it, how do you say it's named Celebi, is it, from Gen 2? So desk of uh, Rebecca, a rookie members of the stars. Will we take a first aid spray? We will indeed. Large communication device. It's out of commission. I can't send any messages from here. Thing is, there's so many other stars members here. There's like three desks. What's this? From Kendall Gun Shop to the boys of stars. I have some good news for you. Uh, from my brother Joe, he's finalised new handgun for its official use. Use it's the M92F Star Special. But he calls it the Samurai Edge. It's the most balanced uh, of the Kendall custom guns. Joe said, if you miss the targets with this, you should carry a teething ring instead of a gun in your holster. I mean, someone told me that SSN came back when you played 100 hours. Oh, fucking got a fright there. What's this? Ringing ding ding, who's on the phone? No! Come anyone! Our platoon is cut off! No survivors found! This is Carlos! Oh, it's Carlos! 
<laughs> right, Carlos is a bit of a hunk in this, but seeing the remake, fucking sploosh, he is a stud. So much so, Megan had second. She was like, I was like, so who do you fancy more, Leo, Leon from Resident Evil Two, or now Four, uh, or Carlos? And she had to think about it. That tells you how close it was. But right now, the only character who's beaten our love of Leon is a Starion from Baldur's Gate Three. Because of course, you know, Megan likes the hot vampire. Right, Boise, so we got a lockpick. I know there was areas outside we could lockpick, but I don't really fancy. Actually, I guess I need to head back now that Carlos has asked. Oh! We've got his areas. Fucking swimming with zombies. Get the fuck. It's got about you as well. Oh, there we go. I clearly meant to dodge that way. Right, and then we're just going to... Oh, fuck off! Fucking shat myself there, boys. Oh! <laughs> He's back, boys. Can he chase you in between rooms? Let's, f let's find out. Oh, fuck. I stay still, he won't see me. Oh, fuck, he's seen me. Stars. Wait, is he trying to fire a rocket launcher and, like... Right, right, so... Oh, for fuck, he is... He's sprinting. The problem is now I've actually forgot where I was going because he is hot in my fucking uh, tail. Jesus Christ. Right. Fucking head out. Run. RPDs fuck boys. There's no saving it. I wonder, see when they made two, did they know that they were going to make three because then they could add in, uh, well he's away. Brad's body where Nemesis killed because I think it's in I can't remember how you get it into but if you okay if you do something you see zombie Brad Vickers I wonder if that, they planned something with that or if it was just a fun Easter egg they did right there was a door around oh no I need to head back through here where there's gonna be so many zombies because Brad's roaming about Use the lot pick. There we go. Woo! So we have to find fucking the big stud Carlos. Right, if I was Carlos, where would I be? Wait, did you see something there? Guess where I seen some crawl out window or some that. Nope, nothing. Nobody seen anything. I'm just imagining things. The stress has finally got to me, right. Straight ahead, we've not been straight ahead yet. Oh, oh wait, it was a bunch of... There was a lot of herbs there I could have picked up. How we doing? How we doing inventory space wise? I'll pick up a few of them, I can't, I won't be able to pick them all up. Wait a second, was there blue- oh fuck, blue herbs. You know what blue herbs means, boys? There's poison enemies coming up, and you know what I love in my video games? Poison enemies. Didn't know fucking this guy from soft fucking poison swamp level. And I'll combine one of them so it's kind of two greens and one blue, or it's only a red I can mix in. There we go. So how do you ingest the herb? Do you munch it? Do you rub it on something? Do you fucking just eat it? Or... Zombie dog. It's okay, they're just... Oh! 
get it smoked. <gasps> yes, man, like, Wes goes out, I've seen this, uh, meme some people where it's like, Wes goes outside fighting all the dogs in the, res the start of Resident 1. Don't look where's the rest of the guys and they're just like... Oh, fuck, more, zo more zombie dogs. It seems to be charging the battery. Will you take the power cable? Yes, I will. Can I take the battery? Nothing useful. That was some poor cunt's way to escape and I've just bumped it. Seems there's no power for it. Well, guess what I can do? There's more blue herbs there, weren't there? Right, time to do some inventory management. Everyone's favourite part of any Resident Evil game. That sound is so loud, holy shit. I'm gonna pop it there and pick up the rest of the herbs and then run back in. There are blue herbs going here. Will you use them? I can't pick them, can I? Ah, you bastardy. Got a hit that I really didn't need. Right, cool. Let's do a wee save and then... You know, I really should look up, because I want to get a certain ending in this game, I really should look up how to actually get an ending, because I think this one with the choices, it, you can quite easily just back yourself into different something different. It's not like, say, Resident Evil... Uh, which got Resident Evil 1, where it's like, you need to rescue XYZ, or save this character, you know? Also, I really like sort of the choice feature, that's kind of cool. I guess that's a way of trying to change up, uh, so it's instead, you know, just one playthrough, changing it up slightly. Because if I remember, was two the last one they did the sort of two playthroughs for? Outside of things like separate ways and stuff like that. Yeah, because Code Veronica is not two playthroughs, that's just you play as different characters at certain bits. Oh no! Wait, I need, I need to do somewhere with a power cable, don't I? If I don't find anything here, I'll head back to the to that place. Oh wait. It's a downtown map. Oh, by Johnny Downtown. Wait, restaurant, newspaper office, gas station. Holy shit, this area is massive. Substa- Oh. I think I remember what I need to do. It was that. Oh, what are you? You're bogging, I hate you. I want Nemesis back. Oh my god, you're... Well, that was horrifying. Oh, look at her leg, holy shit. Well then, that was the thing. Resident Evil. Put it into me being horrified by whatever that thing was. I think we're getting the shotgun. They have taken everything from me. Everything. But I won't give up. I won't allow them to win. I will survive. They can't stop. My last escape. You tell them. Right, time to get the shotgun out. And boys, how we, I'm just wondering, how are we feeling about the look? Do we like the trip top and the skirt? I like it. Though, I prefer the berry and the shoulder pads. It's such a, it's just such a silly look. Like, I know the, uh, it's meant to look more like a sort of flak jacket. But it just looks like she's got giant shoulder pads. You know what, I should just use the... Oh my god, stop getting hit, Mikey. I know it's hard. Right, 
And Jill's pretty good waifu material, but Resident Evil is got some pretty strong waifus. I'm sorry, Jill, you're, you're you're not, you know. Next to Ada Wong and Lady Dimitrescu, you know. Downtown map. Right, let's fuck this thing up. Oh! I forgot how to shoot there. Okay, it's not the usual button for... Because I'm using the Dreamcast Oh my god, there's more of them. Right, there we go. Oh! Right now I'm not as on edge. There's a slot in which a battery can be set. Right, so do I head down this way and get a battery? Wait a second. Is this not where I came out? Oh wait, who's that? Pal, slow down. Wait, where are you? Where are you hiding? I like that they're showing you like different survivors. That's kinda that's kinda cool, even if it doesn't lead anywhere. I think this place is in uh outbreak. I'm gonna be saying that a lot. Because Outbreak reuses, that, well, it reuses, it uses a lot of locations from Resident Evil 2 and 3. City Guide. Dear citizens, thanks to the kind and generous people of Umbrella Inc., this peaceful and friendly city, and uh, the vast donations of Umbrella Inc. Oh, it's a peaceful city uh, due to the vast donations from Umbrella Inc. have been used uh, for welfare work, the construction of public utilities, and to help maintain public peace. In 1992, it was my fifth year as mayor of this beautiful city. It was then that through many donations and hard work our city was able to rebuild the municipal building and create a state of the art hospital. In honour of these fine accomplishments I was awarded with a grand statue that same year. The grand statue rests in the municipal building. I came to this city as an engineer more than 35 years ago. I made contributions to the electric systems and to the installation of the cable car. I pledged to follow the tradition of this fine city and will devote my life to its prosperity. Mayor of a city, Michael Warren. Wasn't that in the municipal building? That's a main bit in Operation Raccoon City. Right, what's making that sound? The lamp is lit. Don't think it's a lamp. Seems to be a switch for the drain. Yeah, pull the switch. Sitting in the drain. Heavy looking cover. There's a hole to hook something onto. Flammable gas is leaking. Oh god. I remember there's a bit so there's a bit in Resident Evil to the second movie it really pissed me off. It's where Jill has this big scene where they're trying to rescue Sherry. And Jill's actually got this cool scene where she's fighting dugs and shit like that. And she turns on all the gas and the whole thing she's gotta do is she's gotta light a match, throw it back and run away. But she fucks up and then who's there to save the day? Fucking Alice. Because everything in those movies, what's the answer? Can our characters do something? No. It's just Alice that does it. It's Mila Jovovich. Or Jovovich. Sorry. A lot of a simple lock. Will you use the lock pick? Oh, I can do that. Use the lock pick. That's why I I was a lot kinder to Operation... Not Operation. Uh, Welcome to Raccoon City. It's not a great movie by any means, but I enjoyed it a lot more than those movies. Because I actually felt like a, will I take the fire hook? Yes, I will. Because it felt like a Resident Evil movie as opposed to, you know, a generic shite action movie when someone had Google searched Resident Evil characters and just put them in without any context. Do you remember in 4? Right, so in 4, they're, they're, it's set in Hollywood and they're in a, I believe it's a prison that they're hiding out in. And for some reason, the executioner from 5 appears there. Despite having no logical reason why he should be there. Like, see if this went, oh, he's a B.O.W. or something like that, or... No, it was the fact he's in the game, so we'll put him in. Wait, what the fuck's that? 
Calm down, lady. Oh, who's that stud? My name's Carlos, Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. I forgot about Chris already. Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah, we came all the way out here to save you civilians. What kind of pharmaceutical, pharma, pharmaceutical company has a private army? Hmm. Oh fuck! How Big Nemi. Right, uh, what do we do? Run into the basement. Basement. Get in the basement. This way. I mean, we've got flambo get- Oh, we exploded. Oh, are we flooding, boys? Is that some really- Is that- It's a freezer. Uh, this ventilation seems to be large enough for a person to enter. Will you escape to the ventilation? Yes, I will. This seems to have some really fun set pieces. Oh god, it's so loud. But I thought I'd do it as it jumped down and maybe I'll fire up and then set the gas off, or whatever. I have to ask you something. I know. You want to ask me out? All the foxy ladies love my accent. It drives them crazy. Fucking hell, what? just shooting your shot straight away. Tell me, why did Umbrella send your team in? Mad we Shagger Carlos. Civilians. Don't lie to me. Mind who plays him in the well, second movie? The reason why this whole mess began. Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? If you want answers, you should talk to someone else. I am not with Umbrella. But you've got the umbrella logo on your back, literally emblazoned on your I'll back. Finish this later. Believe it or not, we're only here to rescue the civilians. If you can trust me, then help us. Think about it. I guess we should follow him then. Is there sticking a bit with the zombies? Oh, I meant I meant to run there. Wait, where did he run to? There's a zombie in front of me. But uh. Yeah, do you know who played Carlos in the second movie, Apocalypse? It was your man for the mummy. I forget his name. Oh, what's this? I see a shiny. A rusted crank. Oh, it wouldn't be a Resident Evil game without a crank. Well, well, actually, we probably need the crank, so I'll I'll keep the crank. I don't know who you mean at all. Uh, I forget his character's name. He's the, remember the in the first mummy, there's this guy who's like part of this group of ancient warriors. I think that their whole thing is they need to stop Emotep rising. He's the guy that's got like the face paint on. Is it Od Od? I can't pronounce his name. I apologise for the pronunciation. It's like Oded Fair, I think his name is. I don't even know Carlos Winslow's films. Literally, he's just called Carlos. That's all he's got to do with the character. He's just called Carlos. It's the only thing he's got in... in it's like how in 4, your man Fae Prison Break turns up as Chris. Despite having nothing to... like. Apart from the only thing that he's got that is relatively... Uh, Chris Redfield like is he has a gun and he is uh, Claire's brother so only only similar sort of thing they've got but those movies have like basically, basically it's like, it'd be like if I got a bunch of Google images of Resident Evil and like certain things you know like and then showed them to without any context to like say my mother-in-law and says right go go make a Resident Evil movie you know What's the story of Resident Evil? Doesn't matter. Not that Resident Evil's got a great story. I'm not. I'm not gonna pretend that Resident Evil's like the fucking you know, like some masterpiece. But yeah, they fucking butchered it in those movies. Oh, you big bastard! You. I was gonna say I need a wee second to look at the map to figure out where I'm going. But this big prick ran the way. Right. 
So I've not been straight ahead. That seems locked, but... What's that say? The arcade shops. Yes, man, let's fucking go. Got up some house of the dead. Oh, you big prick. I thought that was a cutscene triggering the sound. Raccoon City Hall. Operation hours are from 9 to 5. The gate is automatically closed after hours. I imagine I need, I imagine I need a... Like, get up, Joe, get up, get up. Oh no, wait no, there's a second gem that I need. Clock's not functioning. Two gems are missing from the airplate. We'll come back to this, I imagine. Yeah. Fuck me. He he is so scary. Right, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, we can relax. We're good. We're good, boys. We need to get a big deep breath. Right, so that's a push puzzle, isn't it? Photo B. Close up of a zombie. It says scoop on the backside. Right, so I push that over here to. What's that say? The raccoon press. Right, here we go, here we go, boys, here we go. The thing is, Resident Evil's got such a simple story that. If you just take the bare bones of it, you could actually turn something pretty... Like, you could literally do a move, like... I'm not saying, like, Saw, but, you know, this sort of trap house idea of one and play that up, you know? There's no power going to a switchboard while you turn on the power. I switch for the five percent shutter while you turn it on. Yes, I will. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna burn my wee shins off. Do we heal first? Because Nemesis fucks me up. Can I walk through it? Can I walk beside the fire? I'm gonna be careful running down that in case I dive right into it. Oh! Yeah, Joe, I don't know why we thought this was a good idea heading in here. No clue why. And to pick up here? Nope. Right, Joe, we can do this, we can escape. We just need to find Hot Carlos. A narrow path can be seen from the window. Okay, what have we got here? What's this? We take the green gem. Oh, we've now got both gems. Where'd you come from? Oh! Nope, wrong one. I'm not gonna waste my shotgun shells on just. Fuck! Off, man! Is it even worth trying to fight him? He is fucking me up. I need, to head, I need to find a safe room. Wait, I wonder if I can put the shutter down and lock him in. Right, fuck, let's see. Let's try and do that. Joe, no, use the shutter. Power has been restored. Oh fuck, I can't do that. But it's okay, it doesn't seem to be chasing after me. Is there anything else I need to pick up here? Did ever tell what's just part of the background or some, what something I can actually pick up? Right, where's a safe room here? Maybe that way? Because I need to get the other gem from one of my chests. Well, I was too scared when I was in it's locked on our side. I think I need to head back in there. We've got a feeling to maybe jump down out the window or something like that, or Let's hope he's still not up here. If he is, I'm gonna do a big cry. Cause Nemesis is fucking scary in this game. Fucking on you like a dug in heat. Oh! There he is. Oh god! Big Johnny Nemesis is. 
Come on, Jill, get up, get up. Get up. No, Jill. I think, I think the problem is he's not very scary in the remake. I think he's too. Oh, shit. Oh, God, there we go. I just got a tentacle right through the throat. Why am I purple? Oh, I'm infected. I think it's because he's doing, like... Because there is quite a jump in ridiculousness, I want to say. Because in this, he's just running after you. But see, in the remake, he's fucking Naruto running and, like, jumping in the sky and then pops down in front of you. So it's... You know, it's not as threatening as him just barreling towards you. But there is like a significant jump between Mr. X and him, because Mr. X just walks towards you, which is intimidating. But then you see Nemesis fucking sprinting towards you, it's something else, you know? Right, uh... I don't know if that would maybe stop him, stop him in his tracks, but... Okay, I don't want you to abuse these. Wait, where are we going? We're heading to a newspaper office. Probably should equip a gun, shouldn't I? Looking back, I don't think there was a bit I could jump out the window there. Oh, fuck! He is not leaving me alone for a second. Right, into the newspaper office. Just run, Mikey. Just run. Do we get a reprieve here? Do we? Fuck. Right, we good? We good? Right, so we get a little bit of downtime here. Like the smallest smidgen of downtime. Pick up a first aid spray. Nope. Nope, nope. Down you get. Down you get, Joe. Pushing that over here. Ethnel slang about. I don't really. Is that herbs I can use? Right, there's a photo. Nah, it's just plants. Go and scoop. Last thing, I would l I'd love like a uh, like something that's uh, about like the early as a zombie infection. That's kind of cool. Because everyone's about the big outbreak. I'd love like a show that's also like the aftermath of like a zombie infection. Like if you read the book World War Z, it was kind of like it, where it's like humans have just kind of had to rebuild their society around zombies, and it's pretty fucking cool. Like, not in, a, not in like a walking dead way. I mean, like, they've actually just had to try and rebuild life, you know? So, but that really worked. Shame that the movie was nothing like it. The movie was just shite. Right, so what does I kill this guy in here so I'm... So I don't have to worry about... I can explore here a little bit without panicking. I'll take gunpowder. Yes, I will. Yes, indeed. Get the green, the green gem because I need that for the thing. And then we're got. There's not a road, a way back here, is there? And down here, nope. Anything here? Porter's memo. As I found evidence that I need to prove the camel disease is indeed happening in the city, one man actually ate people to death. Okay. He was like a savage animal tearing away at flesh. Uh, it was completely disgusting. I have heard rumours that many people are all suffering from this disease now. However, the cause of a disease is not yet known. Is this not a mystery of the present disease? I'll have to check on it. They have placed Raccoon City under martial law because of the cannibal disease. I have lost contact with the media outside the city. But I won't give up. As a journalist, I won't keep my eyes shut and walk away. I have a duty to the people and to my profession. I don't think the disease has spread nationwide yet. I believe this city holds the key to its creation and its cure. In fact, I'm sure of it. The military set up a blockade around the city to keep people from escaping and spreading the disease. Most of the citizens have either died or come in contact with the disease. 
I know that it is the right decision to quarantine the city, but I can't help but pity myself. If I am infected or eaten, if it, it doesn't matter, my fate is already sealed. All I have left is my journalism. I won't give up till I solve the mystery of this deadly disease. I have just discovered that the disease is not spread through the air, but by some other means. You've taken the reporter's memo. I feel I, I always find it mental in, show, in like games and shows like this where they refuse to just say it's probably a zombie virus. Like they turn into undead-looking monsters and eat other people. Like you know, a bit in Shaun of Dead, where he's like, "Oh, don't say zombies. That's silly." And he's like, well, "What would you call them?" Oh fuck! He's so thick and so wide, though I can't, I, I can't get by him. He's a thick boy. Fuck! No, no. Wait. Oh. Can you get out? Can you run away from that? I wonder if that reporter that was talking. I wonder if that was your boy that was in the, was the selling Resident Evil 2, because he was a reporter, wasn't he? Right, so we just need to head back to... I think it might be not 100% We didn't see a name there, did we? Fuck that shit! So, talking about it, I'm actually kind of glad my beautiful baby boy Barry and Chris got out of the city because I don't know if they could take Nemesis. Nemesis is a big scary boy. Right, uh, so I need to grab... What will I drop off? I'll drop off the gunpowder. I can't mix them in there. Uh, and I'll pick up the... Blue gem, there it is. Let's do a save here. I'm gonna get such a bad ranking because I keep saving, but ah, uh, you're all da saves all the time. I seen someone earlier because I was well last night. I was uh, putting I was putting Resident Evil Three on like right, on Twitch, obviously, and I seen someone do a no hit, no save run, and it blew my fucking mind. Like, I, I know people are good at games, but holy shit, like. Just not having that safety net of, you know, you know, there's this mode in Dead Space. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like hard on hard mode. Basically, you're dying like basically like just over one hit, but you only get three saves throughout the game and no cut, no checkpoints. Fuck. I mean, my dad said he played this when it came out. He didn't, uh, as he played all night, went uh, until his alarm for work went off. Fuck. Oh no, boys. Oh no. I can just keep reading this, we're okay. Pocket is not functioning, two gems are missing from the outer plate. Right, put the blue gem in. Seems this is not enough to make the device to work. Oh god. Right. I'm so on edge, boys. Wait, can I turn the clock? Do I need to do a puzzle with the clock at all, or...? Shit. Oh, just to throw me in the right way where I'm going. We just turn around, Jill, and use the use the door. Oh, there we go. We're in the city hall now. I remember I had a pal. One of my pal's dad was a uh, super into this as well. Like he fucking loved his Resident Evil and loved his uh, Tomb Raider. Door stuck from our side and won't open. That's how long this way. I say I remember always seeing them like because. Obviously, I didn't play Resident Evil games when they came out, but I always remember seeing the like posters on like the PlayStation magazines and stuff like that. Fair enough, is actually where I got the thumbnail for this video. But like Nemesis was a big fucking deal when it came out. So, so I remember seeing toys of them in fucking Pound Stretcher, and I really wanted those toys. The same way there was the Resident Evil Two toys and there was Resident Evil Three ones just came out just afterwards. And again, I thought they were the bees knees. They were so fucking cool. The shutter is down. Oh! Oh! That looks like there's a hex shaped hole. 
fuck, I left my wee crank. But looking in the hindsight, I really wish I got those figures. But again, I guess you could say it about anything, but those figures are worth a shit ton now. Like, I was looking because I, I kind of wanted the wee Birkin one because it's like really cool, really sort of. He's got a big claw, obviously, he's got the, the wee sort of thumbstick at the back of his shoulder where it moves his eye. It's a really cool wee figure, but it's so much money, especially if it's sealed or in any decent nick. And obviously, Jason's Holy Grail being the Illbleed figures. Is that Lons La Lonsdale Yard? The Onishi Corporation? Big West Corporation? I can't read what that bottom one says. Oh! Herbies, I'll take some Herbies. Right, there we go, there we go. I get to say Lons Lonsdale. What the fuck is Lons- Oh, Lonsdale's- they, they did my wrestling boots. Right, here we go, boys, here we go. I'm feeling alright, I'm nice and healthy, and I bet Nemesis jumps out and just ruins my day here. Oh! Arrow! Oh, that was a good feeling, boys. I liked that. Oh, that was good. That was satisfying. Oh, that was good. Right, so where's this, then? Lots on our side. Oh! Oh, there's quite a few boys here. Could try and avoid the crawling boys, can't I? Ah, it seems to like a waste of a barrel for those two. What's this one? A train car? Mechanics memo. Oh, that's another one. That's another big one. I know you're intimidated by your new job, Kevin, so let me tell you how to make sure that you and your trains get along just fine. You see, these carriages were made in 1968, then imported from Europe. Sometimes they get rickety, but they still work because they are simple, stubborn and strong. We can always depend on them. If they have a bad day and are malfunctioning, you just need to take a good look at their circuits for any trouble. Once you discover what's wrong, you'll be able to fix it easily. I'm sure you'll be able to avoid those nasty little malfunctions if you check the parts every day. These old trains will surely have problems if you don't remember to check them out. Just remember that if you need to replace anything, you have to choose a suitable part. When I say suitable, I mean you, uh, you can't find the, an original part, then you better find something that works good enough. Even with regards to oil, you must always prepare good quality oil for these trains. Never forget, Kevin, that a man uh, may betray others, but a machine won't. Up the trains, boys. Some of the parts seem to be out of order. The power cable's disconnected, the fuse is broken, the mixed oil's been used up. Fucking Kevin, what a prick. Well, guess what I've got? I've got a power cable. So I need a fuse and some mixed oil. Kevin's a prick. See if Kevin done his job. Oh, fuck! Rescue team, right? It's John Mahoney from Fraser. Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of Stars. Stars? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ah. Hey, who's this boy? Is someone wounded back there? So I'm just getting some boys because I was just thinking that when I seen that character. Give me two seconds. Give me two seconds and I'll be right with you. Your big man is it Nikolai Mikhail? I can't remember his name exactly. Give me two seconds and I'll be... I'll get the image with you. 
But do you know think with just his hair and the sort of look in his face? Oh, that's a massive image, holy shit. Uh, where'd I put it? Where'd I put it? Make it a bit smaller. And, nope, Mikey, stop clicking off it. Do you think he looks a bit like Fraser's dad? The big John Mahoney. Anyways, on to else. And no boys have not watched New Fraser. And my mum watched it and she messaged she phoned me and says, Oh, have you watched New Fraser? I was like, nah, I don't think I'm going to. And she went, It's a bit safe feeling. And then I said, like, oh, how's uh Rodney in it? And she went, Oh, he's so fucking in it. she doesn't like him. Oh, this looks bad. Oh, they're coming. Get ready. Ah, ah, fire. Fire! Stay together! Calm down. Oh no, he's delirious, Stay boys. Everything is gonna be okay. I saw a clip on TikTok, it was enough. Aye. Um, I think because... I love the original Fra Fraser. It's one of my favourite shows. It's so cosy, it's... fun, it's... I, I just think it's a really great show. It's got... It's... So Jill, oh, there he is. What a stud. It looks like we're the but the, re the new one just has none of that. Work together. No. There he is. Trust her. There he is. Why? But Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. So Mikhail's the one that's fucked up. That's Nikolai then. Walking away from this mission. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. And I'm sure that will go absolutely fine. I'm sure that plan will go completely on schedule, you know. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. We'll be fine. We've got a train. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. So who goes work, yeah. get a train fixed, go. Cool. Okay, people, let's get moving. Jill, put this on. It was that. What's he, what's he giving me? A holster? Wait. Claire, you, not Claire, sorry. Jill, you are literally a polis. You're a member of a special forces team. You think you'd have a holster at home? Will you take the wrench? I will indeed. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a safe point, not safe, like a, a safe room area that I can guess I'm gonna get that wrench. I'm gonna head back to the. You've opened the lock. Where does this take me? Because that gas, I think it's a gas station looking area that had the. So I need to use the wrench. So where's a safe room from here? A wee bit away, fucking hell. Right, cool, so I know where I'm now. So we'll just head back the way. I am no watching the new Fraser. I'm, I don't know, just the fact that none of the original cast came back for it and it's just Kelsey Grammar and I think I think Roz is doing the appearance in one episode, but yeah, no one else wanted to do it. And Fraser had a fucking perfect, like, l such a perfect ending. Like, all everyone's storylines are wrapped up, and Fraser meets a woman in the episode before the finale, and she moves away to, I think it's Chicago she moves to. And Fraser decides, I'm going, oh, yeah, big prick, you. So I'm going to, like, try and chase love and move to a new city because I've done everything I can in Seattle and he moves on he has his final radio show and he goes and he gets on the plane to Chicago it's the best ending I've seen in a sitcom ever it's fucking class and yeah they shouldn't have ever brought it back but see as soon as I seen there was like a Will and Grace reboot or a reboot like a new series and then I seen there was like like obviously Sex and the City had that new one I forget what it's called I've not. I've never watched Sex in the City. Never. But 
as soon as I've seen those arts that comes we're having, like, ones are like, a Fraser's come back, it's, it's coming, you know. But my one hope was, maybe it'll be alright if they get, like, you know, his dad back, I know his dad's, like, really old, but if they get him back, it'd be kind of cool. If, if David Hyde Pierce comes back, Niles, because he's a, he's really good, I've found out he voices so many characters I really liked as a kid, including he voiced Abe Sapien in the first Hellboy movie. But he wasn't credited for it because he realised how much work Doug Jones did. It felt so get bad that he didn't actually do it. Like, he's voiced it. He was like, nope, credit Doug Jones. He deserves it more than I do. So on your cell, Niles. On your cell, David Hyde Pierce. Ends up who's also a doctor and, uh... I forget the doctor's... Oh, yeah, big prick, she. The doctor and Treasure Island. Not Treasure Island. Fucking Treasure Planet, which I fucking love Treasure Planet, boys. Run to the safe room here. So I'm actually need to shoot off in about, say, 15 minutes or so. Because I actually forgot, so I, originally I put in a schedule I'd be streaming at 5 o'clock today. Because I thought, oh, there's nobody for a while, that's a bit of an empty slot, I'll get, I'll get like a longer stream in. And then I looked at my phone this morning, and my work, uh, well, my, my other job, apart from working the comb, was like, oh, uh, yeah, so can you start work at uh, half four? And I was like, what? I forgot, I thought I was working at 12, but nah, fuck it. Uh... There we go. Rusted Crank. I won't save just yet. Because I don't think I've... Wait, I should reload, shouldn't I? There we go. Reload and... Just knock him down. Don't have to kill him. But see just this bit, I'm seeing how much they've cut out of the they cut out of it in three. Like I think three's three's really good. I'm not i I'm not part of the group that hates three. I think three's got a lot of positives. Or sorry. Three make. I think it's got a lot of good things in it. I think it's the best I'd say probably up until four, the remake of four is the best like it's felt to play, if you know what I mean, just as a just as a pure gameplay sort of one. Oh god, a bronze statue of Raccoon City Mayor Michael Warren. There's a switch. Will you push it? Yes, I will. It's holding something in its hand. Will you take the bronze book? Yes, I will. Right. Oh god, it's a straight line. I thought I could maybe like circle round. Oh boys, this is gonna be a dodgy one. And then our zombies joined. If I can knock what one of them down. Right, there we can try and make a run for it. Shit. You know what boys, I'm I'm gonna go out my way. I'm gonna try and buy the SD Perry Resident Evil books. It basically like before Resident Evil had a, as much of a sorted out lore. They had the, this writer called S.D. Perry just write, like, right, here's a plot to Resident Evil 1. I've read a few. I've read the first one, but there's a, quite a lot of them. I'm going, oh! I've read the ones to the first and second games. I like, I love the idea of going, like, right, here's this cat, like, this shit. Try and make it make sense in a story format, like how they made Jill the daughter of this master thief. I kind of like that. I mean, and at worst, it's like, you know, it'll be a wee Resident Evil book, you know? Because I know they did, like, was it... They used to do, like, one base in a game, original story. One base in a game, original story. That could be kind of fun. There's also a manga called Resident Evil... It's not Death Island. It's something along the lines of that. And it's, like, set in, like, a tropical island. And all the covers are very... Let's say if I was buying it as a teenager when I was in my, I was at my most Resident Evil like fandom stage, 
I would have had to maybe hide the covers. Oh fuck, what's going on here? Oh, big Mikhail. What are you doing up? Holy shit, he's just mowed them down. This cunt's a badass. Oh man, Mikael's cool as fuck. Yes, man. I love a good explosion when body parts fly. Not in real, no, obviously not in real life, but in, Mihai, in video games, yeah. Do you have some kind of death wish? My people, they were wiped out by these monsters. I can't stop just because I'm wounded. But can't you? I love how he's like. I'm, I'm only. So I can't stop because I'm wounded. Them? He's got his whole fucking sides gone. Are you accusing me of taking it out on them? You don't seem to understand something. We're not really involved with the company. We have to death wishes directed by your, your man for the... Responsibility for this oh, what was car insurance commercials? I know that. And right now, that's the only reason why I'm trying to cooperate with you. Was it... Yeah, it was... I can't remember the exact one, but... It was at Calm Down Dear. It's not only a commercial, and then it ends up he's like director of Death Wish. Uh, Sorry. I feel so useless. There's a not nice story of, about him in uh, the Canon uh, Canon Cinema documentary. I'm still alive. My men aren't. Don't it was a wank eye. Right Just rest. So basically, they were shooting a, let's just say, a not pleasant SA scene in uh, Death Wish, and supposedly. A uh, crew member had given this actress because they were shooting in like I can't remember where it was like cold. They were in like a car. It was like a car park basically, and she was lying on the ground. And uh, a guy gave her a blanket and says, "Here, put this on. It'll be nice and warm." And he supposedly went up, grabbed the blanket off of her because she was wearing nothing. And he said something like, "Oh, we can't have you cover up. We need the the camera so the light look good, looks good in your tits or something." I was like, "Oh, oh, you creepy cunt, you!" And the fact is, this old sweaty horrible looking man that eventually went and done and knowing he was the same guy that was doing car adverts oh oh he's a wee bit of heebie jeebies you know right anyway what way am i going so if i come out here the gas station is if i go down here around there up cool how how fucked am i right so i'll i won't heal but the second i see nemesis i'm healing So I'm just trying to remember where it, where it all is and where I am. Cool. Because I get very lost very easily in these games. Saying that, speaking of like Survivor Horror, I'm very excited for Tormented Souls 2. I fucking loved the first one. It was... Wait a second. Oh. Right, I just need to head through here. Is it down there, up there, and then I can go cut through there, maybe? But the first one was like, it was good, but I could see that if it had a couple of tweaks, it'd be fucking great, great, if you know what I mean. And hopefully, this one's got a much bigger budget and can do a lot more than the first one did. Because the first one was so close to being a great game. It was just held back by a couple of things. Oh, and it's up this way. Cool. You know the guy that plays Nikolai in the remake is uh, Neil Newborn, the guy who does a Starion's voice. Also, it does like it done like mocap for Nemesis and shit like that. Because I was reading up his uh, his thing yesterday. Megan was sitting watching him on Twitch, and he's done so much. He's also Heisenberg in Resident Evil Village. But most importantly, 
he's in the bill quite a few times, playing multiple different characters. He's also in ca was it casual? No, it wasn't casual. Was it, was it Hobie City or something? That? It gets around I. You found that voice actors. Fuck. No voice actors. Well, I imagine they do. Fuck. A broken hex crank is inserted here. I can't turn it without some type of help. You find that they do tend to fuck, but they tend to get about around, you know? Like, they're in a lot of stuff. Like, I might be making it up, but it was something like, what, who, what's that voice actress name? One of the most famous voice actresses in the world. Voices Femship. Doesn't she have, like, a record for, like, the most IMDb entries or something ridiculous like that? Jennifer Hale, that's the one. And I sure you can't play a big budget game nowadays without hearing at least fucking Troy Baker or Matt Mercer popping up in it or Jennifer Hale, you know. Now, I'm, I'm not going to lie, boys, I'm very lost now, so I broke the handle there. I have I guess I've tried to, like, the substation again. Oh, there was a battery somewhere, wasn't there? Wait, no, we don't need a battery, do we? Right. So I'm just going to formulate a wee plan in my head about where to go. I've got a metal book. So it's... Let's examine this book. A bronze made book shaped object. It says given knowledge on it. But okay, it doesn't give me an idea where I can use it. Oh, you fucking prick. Shat myself there. Are we in danger yet? We're not in danger. Cool. I mean, Jill's getting played by me, so she's always in danger. Right, what way are we heading? We're heading this way. We'll head back to a save point and we'll... Fuck, we'll just back off a little bit. Unless, uh, let me have a, let me have a wee think. So, where have I not been and where? I don't have keys to these places yet, but... Oh, I'll save first, then we'll wander about for a wee bit, and then we'll hit call it a day. How do I use the crank then? What, can, what have I got that I could maybe use a crank with? So I've got... I need something to insert onto the crank, does it? Wrench! I have a fucking wrench on me! Oh, boys. Right, okay, we'll save. We're most of the way here, so we might as well run back and save. Fuck. Okay, this is, this is bad, this is bad. But we'll save, get more ammo, and then we'll use the wrench on the, the thing. I don't know why I didn't think that. As soon as it broke, it said something that could grab the wrench. Right, I'll put the... What am I looking for? I don't want to take like, 250 bullets, that seems a bit much. I can't split it at all, can I? Nope, wrong button. Whoops. I'm still, because the Dreamcast control is slightly different from the... Or I've got it set up slightly different from the... Uh, you know, the control I use. So, I will... So I'm still getting used to the layouts. There we go. We'll do a save here, because at least if we die here is not as much we won't lose as much progress but what we'll do is we'll go open up the fucking 
the petrol station, and then we'll head back. Right, so it's there, through here, and then to the right. Cool. Just keep running, Mikey. Don't look behind you. Just keep going. See, I don't like your dramatic music because that gives me a fear that Nemesis is going to pop out of somewhere. Let's turn this way. Oh, that's the newspaper bit down here. What do I, have to, what do I get through there? Probably... I don't know. We'll worry about that in our time. I like this layout. It feels like we're exploring a lot more. It feels like more adventure game stuff as opposed to like... What happened there? They just fly, fly through the windows. And it's especially cool because this would be the first time you're in sort of a big open area because obviously Resident Evil 1 is in a mansion, Resident Evil 2 is mostly in the police station. Well, that's when you feel like you're proper running about the city and shit like that. Nope, that's the map. Wrong button. Can I use the wrench? Why didn't I think that straight away? Why didn't I think that? I'm a dafty. Are you about tonight? I'll be about tonight. I might be back in a wee bit later, so I might be like closer to like 8 and back, but I'll be about tonight. An untidy counter. It's my job, so it's a shorter shift today. Will you actually come with me for this shift? Will I take the gunpowder? Yes, I will. Holy shit, there's so much gunpowder. Wait, let's try this. Can I, can I mix it here? Gunpowder A. Gunpowder triple A. Oh. I need to use it with a which got system the car wash equipment. I need to use it with that reloading thing, don't I? Oh, scuddy photo at the back. Who's that? Oh, it's John Mahoney. I'll check over there. There he is, he's back. Yeah, I've seen some change. The stores uh, to maintain temperature level of the oil. Will you operate the electronic lock? Uh, C. So, if I... Wait. So it turns on the two around it, basically. Damn it. Right. There we go. I knew if I fiddle around with it would be alright. Wait, I thought I... I thought I figured it out. Oh. Right, now it's all three of them. Wait a second, now, do I need to be two of them now? I'll come back to it, there was some shiny here, wasn't there? First aid spray. What are you looking for in here? I thought I was just getting the last one, but apparently not. That's what I thought as well. But the fact there's like two of them, you know. Oh, it's like multiple sort of times. Paint the equipment is stored here. Alright, pal. It's soaked with machine oil. Right, nothing to really... Nothing to pick up here. It is just diddle with this then. Right, so...
I'm confused, boys. Right, I'm just gonna look it up. Uh, RE3 oil puzzle just to see what the goal is. I'm not gonna look at the answer, I'm just gonna see what the goal is, like what I need to do. RE3 oil puzzle. Right, here we go, here we go, so... By my book, is the easiest puzzle to get off. Fuck up, uh, what's your name? Grayson X. 14 years ago, prick. Uh, sorry if you're watching this, Grayson X. So basically, only one letter lit in red is the letter highlighted in green the three times. Oh, wait. So, uh, so it says, to get only one letter lit in red that is a letter highlighted in green. I did that though, green, uh... Now I need to get A. What the fuck? Maybe it wasn't D the second time. Ah. Oh, there we go. Will you take the machine oil? I will indeed. You've taken the machine oil. Oh, what's happening here? Ah! Well, rest in, rest in peace, Nikolai. Fuck. He's dead. Fuck. <laughs> Didn't expect that. <laughs> uh, can we save him at all? Car wash equipment. Neither did he. I mean, it's not my problem. Oh, there we go. We escaped the exploding fucking. What did what did they do so much that set it off? Like, what did they touch? Well, Nikolai's dead, boys. But looking at the time, you're all dying to shoot off, so we're gonna be head instead of heading to the train station or the train, the fucking cable car thing. We're gonna be making a wee detour to the save room. Oh, you bastard! You wasn't paying attention. Oh shit! I thought you. I thought I would kill him, but no, he's still going. He's determined, he's still fucking crawling after me, holy shit. I can't believe Jonathan's still on this mate. I know, I'm surprised. That's like, what, four hours they've been going for? Are they like it? Are they liking it? Like, Smite's a good MOBA. But, I can only... I can only get so much of a MOBA, if you know what I mean. Like... I don't know, I've been watching you. Well, if they're playing it for four hours, they must be enjoying it. Anyways, boys. We'll just do a tiny bit of inventory management. And we'll call that a day there. I feel, for Jill's first day in Raccoon City, that's been quite successful. Nemesis has rocked our ship multiple times. We're trying to build the cable car back up to escape, and we've met a fucking stud called Carlos. So, all in a day's work, boys. I saved there, didn't I? Actually, I don't want to ruin my, rec my rank too much. Anyway, let's try and find a bit where Jill's sort of looking at the camera so we can say goodbye. Okay, maybe we can't. I feel like Michael's on this quest to make sure everyone plays Smite. Do you remember for a while after Call of Duty was out, Smite was the game that we played for a while? Anyway, boysies, uh, you have to take this bird's eye view of Jill as our goodbye screen because, or say goodbye to Jill, we'll see you next time, we'll see you on Monday.
But in the meantime, boys, we're going to head over to this screen. Oh! This PNG trooper is not, not the best. This one keeps breaking. Alright, boys, how you doing? Waiting for it to pop back up. Alright, boys, how you doing? Anyway, you all done your shoot off. So we're raiding Jonathan. Uh, but aye, we'll be on with Manhunt tomorrow. I'm not quite sure what time at. But aye, you can catch me over at usual places on my Twitter and my Discord and stuff. But as usual, boys, thank you so much for joining us. I've been Mikey. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. Hopefully I'll catch you in the next stream. But until then, boys, have a good day. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Most importantly, boys, have good mental health. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you later. See yous. I just typed Raid Jonathan. That's not going to work. Raid Leapy Jonathan. Professional. There we go. Hey boys, catch you. See yous.